Hello, friends, and welcome to the first episode of the Wine CEO Podcast. I'm your host and certified sommelier, Sarah, and in this first episode, I am so excited to tell you all about who I am, what the Wine CEO is all about, and why you should listen. So let's get started. So first of all, if you're listening to this and you're not my sister, my mom, or my boyfriend, I want to thank you. I'm not sure how you found me, but I'm so glad that you're here, and I really look forward to bringing you all along on this super exciting journey. Uh, This is something that has been a brainchild for uh, quite some time for me, and I'm just really excited uh, to get it out to the world. So uh, very, very happy to have you all here. Uh, So what is the Wine CEO, uh, and what can you expect to find in this podcast? So um, it is a podcast, but I really hope it'll become so much more. Uh, CEO actually stands for two main things, community and empowering others. Community begins with people connecting, and I'm a firm believer that food and wine bring people together. I have just felt this and experienced this in my life, and so whether you follow me on Instagram or become a faithful podcast subscriber, I want this to become a community where you can come and learn about wine, connect with others who share this passion for food and wine, uh, and I want you to be able to build this knowledge and hopefully take away some of this passion and share it with the loved ones in your life, uh, and then and continue to build your community in ways that maybe you wouldn't have before. Um, and then in addition to community, empowering others. So uh, I just have this passion for teaching and training others about wine. Um, and I don't know if you've ever been to a restaurant and the sommelier or like wine server comes over and they were just totally stuck up and snobby and maybe you felt intimidated and you just didn't didn't feel comfortable when you were ordering your wine. I definitely felt that way for a long time. So I don't want you to feel alone at all. Um, or maybe you have been to the grocery store and you were trying to pick out a bottle of wine to take to a friend's house or a work event, and you just felt totally overwhelmed. And so I've had a lot of friends approach me over the years and share similar stories like this. Um, And what I've realized is that, you know, the wine industry can be intimidating and wine can definitely feel overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be this way. And so I'm going to show you how wine can be fun, approachable, and anything but intimidating. Each week on this podcast, I will focus on a different topic, like what wine goes great with pizza, or what wines should I be cooking with, how many glasses is too many at a work function, and so many other fun topics. I'm going to share all of my industry knowledge in an easy way that makes learning about wine fun. So speaking of industry knowledge, so who am I? And what makes me qualified to tell you all about wine? Well, my name is Sarah, and I'm 30 years old. I live in Orlando, Florida, and I have spent the last decade working in the hospitality industry uh, in hotels and restaurants and theme parks. Uh, Pretty much all of that time has been at Walt Disney World, uh, where I've worked in pretty much every food and beverage setting, um, everything from private events to Five Diamond restaurants, private clubs, and everything in between. And over these last 10 years, I've developed a passion for not only studying wine, but also teaching my team about how to sell, serve, and taste wines. I have invested in a lot of formal training, and I've received both my certified wine server and level two sommelier certification from the Master Court of Sommeliers, and we can talk about what this means on a future episode, but for now, it basically means that I'm a formally trained sommelier. And I've passed intense written exams, practicals, and blind tasting exams on wines from all over the world. Uh, So basically, what I can assure you is that I'm very able to bore you about various soil types and weather patterns from all over different wine regions. Um, But I'm also able to make wine understandable and relatable to the average consumer. So wine aside, another thing that you should know about me is that I am a major foodie. I absolutely love to cook. I love trying new restaurants and experiencing new cuisines. And in my opinion, food and wine are 
intertwined. You just truly cannot appreciate wine without appreciating all of the delicious foods that pair so well with those wines and honestly, vice versa. Um, So I'll talk a lot about food on this podcast uh, because I love food. And honestly, food and wine just go naturally hand in hand. So if you're a foodie, but you're not really sure how you feel yet about wine, maybe you're not a big drinker, or maybe you've tried a couple wines, but you're just not really, you don't feel super knowledgeable, or you're just not quite there yet, keep listening. Because I promise you that you are going to fall in love with wine as much as I have. It's just an absolute perfect pairing. So if you love food, stick around because I promise you, you will fall in love with wine. Another thing that you should know about me is that I love to travel and experience new cultures. Um, And this is so perfect because honestly, part of understanding wine is also understanding the culture where that wine is made. So if you were to think about wines from Tuscany, for example, from Tuscany, Central Italy, you probably would start thinking about like delicious Italian pastas, rolling hills with these beautiful medieval villages, and then cute little Italian grandpas that are drinking their espresso on the corner cafe. Well, all of these things play a part in understanding why Tuscan wines taste the way they do. And I know that sounds crazy, but we'll talk a lot about this in future episodes and how just the culture of the region where these wines are made impact the final wine. And that finished product is just such a a beautiful description of that culture. So if you love to travel, you will truly be transported to various regions all over the world by learning about wine. I honestly have felt like I'm traveling every time I open up a bottle of wine. It's just this really fun aspect to experience wine where as you're studying, you just have this opportunity to really explore and experience the culture and the country uh, and the full region that this wine is coming from. So also, if you love to travel, studying wine is a perfect, perfect marriage. So you'll learn more about me over the podcast for the the next few months um, and also if you follow me on Instagram. But here's what I want you to expect from this show. So number one, I want you to know that I promise to be respectful of your time. Guys, there are a lot of podcasts out there. So I know that you are all very busy. And if you are tuning into The Wine CEO, I promise to make it worth your while. I'm not going to waste your time talking about what I had for breakfast or spending 20 minutes telling you about my day and this new product that I used before we dive into our content. This podcast will truly be about wine. I will be straight into the point. Obviously, I'm going to keep it fun and entertaining, hopefully, Um, but I'm going to try and really make it focused on wine and um, make sure that the episodes are valuable. And so they're probably going to start off a little short. Um, I want the first episodes to be like 15 or 20 minutes every week. And then if you all love them, I can create more content and make the episodes a little bit longer. I hope in the future to bring on different guests who will um, be able to participate in interviews about wine. So I definitely want your feedback Uh, as this podcast is growing. I believe that feedback is a gift. And so I really want you all to let me know what you're loving and then what else you might like to hear on the podcast. So definitely make sure that you're sharing feedback, whether that's on Instagram or leaving uh, reviews wherever you listen to your podcasts. I truly value all of that feedback. And so I definitely want to hear it because again, um, you know, I, I want this to be educational and I want you all to find value out of this. So I definitely want to be able to to tweak it to how you feel like you need it. Um, And that's because at the end of the day, this podcast is for you as the listener. I truly believe that. Um, You know, there's a lot of wine bloggers out there and I'll warn you in advance. I am not another like rosé all day. Let's get lit on Friday night kind of a wine blogger. Um, If that's what you're looking for, I can recommend some great blogs to follow. I love to have a good time. Um, And I agree that wine is so fun. Please don't get me wrong. Like wine is amazing. But I really want this podcast to be for you all. So I don't want this to be a brand where I'm just taking pictures of me and telling you all about how great my wine is. I want you all to learn. I want this to be a place where we're building community, where we can enjoy wine together. And honestly, where you feel like you can come to a place where you're having value added into your life. So please know that you can expect awesome wine content and not your typical influencer who's just trying to sell you a bottle of wine or build a following so she can make money from ads. This is truly because I have a passion for teaching people and I want you all to find value in this. So if I ever post or record something that you feel doesn't add value, I want you to tell me. 
I want you to to give me that feedback because again, I want to create this community for you all and I want it to be valuable and definitely worth your time. Speaking of this not being your average wine podcast, if you've ever listened to a wine podcast before, um, you're probably hesitant and you know that most wine podcasts are painfully boring. Uh, You may have even been hesitant to tune into the wine CEO. Um, I will admit that sadly, most wine related podcasts out there commonly have like sommeliers who are just not relatable. They interview winemakers or distributors and all they do is they sit there and they talk about soil types or vintage variation and it's so painful And, you know, maybe once you've been in the wine industry for years, you can really appreciate some of this like very granular dialogue. But for someone who's just trying to learn the basics of wine or just wants to have a fun appreciation, that's just not enjoyable. Um, You know, sitting there listening to people talk about how knowledgeable they are and throwing out all of these names that just don't make sense and that you can't relate to. Uh, It's just not fun. And so I wanted to create something that was for the average wine consumer who would just love to hear about basic fun facts about wine and just help make their lives easier and just make it fun conversation for their next dinner party or girls night where they felt like, again, they were just learning something that they could actually use practically in their life. So This is definitely going to be a fun wine podcast uh, that hopefully gives you great tools and tidbits of information that you can use in real life. So if you are as excited as I am, please hit subscribe right now wherever you listen to your podcasts, whether that is iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you're listening please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode of The Wine CEO. I am going to have a lot of incredible content coming your way. I'm so excited. I have content planned out for months and months and months, and I have just been so thrilled uh, to to hit launch on this. And so I hope you're just as excited for this journey as I am, because I cannot wait to hear how you all like the content um, and how it changes the way you enjoy wine. And hopefully it makes your life more fun. It makes things, you know, more exciting when you're putting together dinner with friends or you're going out to eat. So um, I hope you're all just as excited about this as I am. And it is coming at you fast, friends, with the next episode, Wine 101, The Basics of Wine. And in this episode, I am going to talk all about how wine is made, what varietals are. We're going to talk a little bit about regions. And you may already be saying, I know nothing about that at all. And that is a okay. We're going to get you up to speed. And as part of launch week, I actually have multiple episodes already available for you. So you could just hit the next button and start listening to that episode right now and continue on in this journey uh, to learn more about wine in an easy and approachable way. So thanks for listening. And don't forget to check out the show notes to check out my website and Instagram for some more amazing wine content. And I will catch you all in the next episode.